Hey, how's it going? I'm Dr. Trevor Miner. I'm a physical therapist and I've been working in home health now for about four and a half years. Uh, actually, when I graduated, I went directly into home health and I've really enjoyed it. I wasn't uh, so sure how it was going to go at first, but I've really enjoyed it. Uh, one of the things that's that I find important um, in working with my patients is that I have the necessary equipment available. Now, I can remember the first job I started at, they expected me to bring absolutely everything I needed to work with the patient, including like the most basic things like your blood pressure cuff, thermometer, those types of things. And of course, I was a new grad. I didn't have any of those things. Um, but uh, over the course of the past four and a half years, I've been able to build up quite a variety of different tools to use uh, to work with my patients. So in other words, like weights and balance items and, and things of that nature. Um, and I find that that's very important uh, to be able to, you know, dose my exercises and everything correctly for my patient. Now, I do know that some people are of the opinion that, you know, you don't need anything, that you should just be creative with what's in the home. And I understand that. And I agree for a lot of patients, that's that truly is enough. You know, body weight things, uh, making use of what they have in the home is truly enough. But for those patients that it's not, I would hate for them to go without the care they need simply because I lack uh, the proper equipment. So I, like I said, I've accumulated quite a few things over the years and um, maybe one time I'll, I'll show you all the things I have if that's something you guys are interested in seeing. Now, um, one thing that I've seen people uh, talk about a lot that I have not yet done or something I haven't purchased is a weighted barbell. And a lot of people have talked about using a PVC pipe uh, with maybe putting some sand in it or attaching some weights to it. Um, and so I thought, hey, let me go ahead and make one of these PVC pipes. So it can be very simple. Um, I came up with a little different variation to it and um, I'll just show you what I did. So tell me what you think. So here's what I did. I went down to my local HD. I found the plumbing aisle. And then I got two of these one inch caps. I got the ones that are smooth on the inside, not threaded. And two of these slip unions as well. Also the ones that are smooth, not threaded, also in one inch, of course. Then I just grabbed a one inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipe. Now optionally, you could get some pipe cement if you wanted to make this very permanent, but it's not completely necessary, as you'll see. I decided to make my barbell uh, about three feet long. So to do that, these are the measurements I used. For the center piece, I marked it at 8 inches, and for the side pieces, I went with 13 inches. I started off by cutting the 13 inch length and then placing it next to the pipe so I could measure and cut an identical 13 inch length piece. I of course cut out the 8 inch pipe as well. Now you'll notice that I initially wanted to use some pipe glue as well, uh, but quickly found out that my pipe glue was all dried up. So I decided to put it uh, together without any glue and it holds up just fine. And then with a little bit of persuasion, I was able to get it all put together.
And there you go. I know this is a pretty simple project, but hopefully some of you found it helpful uh, just to have a little tutorial on how to do it. Um, I did make a little modification from kind of the standard uh, plain pipe that I've heard of before. Just adding these slip unions allows the weight to kind of get held in the middle. And that's a full 20 pounds. It doesn't move anywhere. So I'm confident that that's going to make things quite a bit easier when I'm using it with patients. Um, you know, this is the weight I chose um, to get because it uses metal inserts as opposed to the bagged ones that tend to rip open. So I'm just real familiar with this. I feel comfortable with it and it's in increments of one pound. So I can, you know, go from a pound up to 20 pounds. I thought this would be a good option. Um, I'll put a link for that below, of course. Um, the other stuff needed, uh, I use a standard tape measure and then a hacksaw and I chose to use a hacksaw because for those of you who do not have a pipe cutter, it would probably be a much more practical investment to get yourself a hacksaw. You can do a lot more with them around the house than just cut pipes. So anyway, I hope you found uh, this uh, brief tutorial helpful. If you'd like to see more of this, please let me know. I'm happy to share as I um, complete some different projects and home health hacks. So please comment, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.